we're going to practice writing acid and base dissociation reactions. We'll start with a simple example of a strong acid, nitric acid. If you recall, nitric acid is HNO3, and we put this in water, and it dissociates completely because it's a strong acid, so this is a one-directional arrow, and we get hydronium ion, it's an acid, and nitrate ion. When I say that this is a strong acid, that means it dissociates completely. And by dissociating completely, what I mean is that in our beaker of nitric acid, we will have water, we will have nitrate, and we will have hydronium ion. What we won't have is any HNO3. Dissociates completely is another way of saying that it breaks apart completely. We don't have any of that species remaining. Let's look at another example, and this is of sulfurous acid, which is a weak acid. Sulfurous acid is H2SO3. It's a weak acid and it's a polyprotic acid. So remember that the H plus ion can also be thought of as a proton. So polyprotic, meaning it has more than one proton that can be dissociated. When we have this H2SO3 react with water, these protons will come off one at a time, and we'll have H3O plus, our hydronium ion, plus HSO3 minus. Now another reaction can also occur because this is an acid, and we can have HSO3 minus react with our water to form hydronium ion and SO3 2 minus. Now I told you that this is a weak acid. What that means is that in our beaker we will have all of these species, the H2SO3 the HSO3 minus, water, of course, hydronium ion, and our SO3 2 minus. All of those species will remain in our beaker because it's a weak acid and it does not dissociate completely. Not completely dissociate. We can look at another weak acid, acetic acid. And we'll look at this example to help us identify what the acidic hydrogen in an acid is. So acetic acid, we can sometimes find written in this form. But in this form, it's hard to identify how these atoms are all connected. So sometimes chemists like to write acetic acid a different way. And they like to write it as H3, CH3, COOH. Now this helps us see how everything is connected. We'll draw the Lewis structure for this. So take your time in your own work and calculate the shared, the needed, the available, and we'll start putting this together. What you will find is that we have one carbon surrounded by single bonded hydrogens, a second carbon connected to an oxygen and a hydrogen 
and another carbon. And we'll complete our octets. Now we see here that there are one, two, three, four hydrogens. So we might think that this is also a polyprotic ion. But the only hydrogen that can dissociate and combine with water to form hydronium is this hydrogen that's connected to our oxygen. So this is not a polyprotic acid. It is a weak acid. It will dissociate in water, and we will get CH3COOH plus water yields hydronium ion and acetate. Ion. This is a weak acid. 